Hi there, uh, Krista Schmieder here, and I'm super excited to do another ceramics video about one of my favorite topics, centering. It's one of the things many of my students have the hardest time with, or you might be having the hardest time with. And so I tried to break it down into five key areas so we can start from the beginning and see if we can fix some of those problems you're having while you're trying to get that clay centered. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is why are you making this harder on yourself? That's number one. I see some of my students and they decide they're going to start with something that looks like this. And I just have to say, not super impressive. You're gonna put this on the wheel and try to center it. You're automatically making your job a little bit harder. So, you're gonna start with a ball. The second thing, get it close first. I see some students start and they throw it way over here or way over here or they throw it down and they're like, that's good. And then they go to spin it around. You're already making your job way harder. Um, the third thing seems kind of simple. So we're gonna get it in the middle. We're gonna make sure it's stuck. If the wheel head is wet, it won't stick, so make sure it's dry before you try to get stuck. The next thing is you do have to touch it. Yes, I see some students kind of doing one of these. That's not going to do anything. You also have to use water, so make sure it's nice and wet, and you also have to actually push on it to start to get it centered. So, the second thing I hear is, why do I suck at centering? Well, there's a couple of things you might be doing. Um, number one, you don't suck. Uh, you're not going to be good at this right away, and that's okay. First thing I hear is, but Schmieder, it hurts my hands. The reason it's hurting your hands is because you're pushing down on the wheel. If you're pushing down, all of those little sand particles are going to start hurting your hands. So you're, you're trying to keep your hands up off the wheel while you're centering. The next thing I hear is, but Schmieder, it isn't moving, and now it's moving too much. And the reason that's happening is probably because you're letting go of the clay too quickly. So here's what I usually see. Students get ready to center, and then they get going and they're like, all right, here we go. And they push on it, and then they let go. And it looks like that. And that's because they just did the equivalent of pushing it in one direction and then letting go. So we have to make sure when we touch the clay, we're coming up on it slowly, pushing, and I'm mainly pushing with this part of my hand. And then we're slowly letting go. And then the third thing I hear is, but Schmieder, it's not turning into a ball. It looks like a mountain. And that's probably because you're not doing anything with your right hand. So the left hand's job is to push it up into a cone or into a ball. But if you just push with your left hand or if you push down with your right hand, it's going to start turning into a mountain shape, which is really hard to make pots out of. So you need to make sure that you're cupping this hand underneath to get that nice ball shape. So the right hand is scooping underneath, and the left one is coming up over the top, like so. So now many of you are getting close. You think it's centered, or you're centering it, but it's just not quite there yet. So the third thing I want to talk about is if you're close, but it's still a little bit off. So the first thing is you need to really make sure you're releasing slowly. So some of you get it really close. You can see it's not moving, but then we let go really quick and it gets off center again. So let me do the same motion, except I'm gonna let go really slowly. See how much better it is? Now, if you get it really close, but it's just off just a tiny bit, it probably means you need to push it past center and then slowly release again. So think of it as a wave. So the wave's gonna come in with my left hand. It's gonna push it past center, and then I'm slowly gonna release. Beautiful. All right, um, so most of you get to this point, and then you go to open it, but sometimes you're still getting it a little off when you try to open it. So what that probably means is that when you're centering it, you're doing a super good job but you might be leaving a point at the top. If you try to open into this point, the chances of it getting pushed one side or front to back are really great. So you wanna to try to make sure this is nice and flat before you start. So we're gonna do the regular centering motion. I'm pushing with my left hand and pulling in with my right. And then feel on your right hand, there's a little bump right below your pinky finger. The reason humans have those is so they can throw pots. Okay, not really. Don't ever put that on a test, that's fake. But there is a bump right there, a little bone, and what you're gonna do is make this hand really strong, 
and I'm just going to gently push down while supporting the side and then slowly come up and you see there's a tiny little divot there right in the middle and that's going to be perfect for me to open up and get nice and centered. But let's pretend you still do that and something happens or your friend walks by and distracts you while you're opening and you go to open it and it looks like this and you got it off just a little bit. That's so frustrating, especially when you did all the work to center it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands back in the centering motion. You're gonna cup your thumbs on the inside. And then I'm gonna, it's like a crab. You're gonna crab the, those thumbs towards your hands. You're gonna slowly pull out while you're supporting it and then remember to slowly let go. And then you're ready for the next step which will have to be a different video because I think that's enough information for today. Um, but before I let you go, I want to show you the number one secret to centering the clay. And that is practice. Sorry, you're going to have to practice. Lots and lots, many hours, and then you'll get super good. So practice, that's what you're going to need to do. I hope some of these tips helped you. And next I'll make a video on getting those walls up nice and tall. But good luck with your clay and have an awesome day. Thank you.